Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Precise Book Reviews. My sincere apologies for missing to upload a video the last weekend. But that doesn't mean I haven't read. I completed 5 books in the month of August and they are The Mystic Sinners by Proyashi Barua, 10th Anniversary by James Patterson, My Days in the Underworld by Agni Sridhar, The Vault of Vishnu by Ashwin Sanghi and The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Let me know in the comment section below which book I should review and I will surely make a video the next week. If you are new to my channel and have not subscribed yet, then please do so right now. So, coming back to the topic of the day. Many of my friends and relatives keep asking me about the Amazon Kindle and other e-readers and whether it is worth a buy. How different it is from the regular tablet and does it strain the eyes? This video answers all these questions. So, stay tuned. For those of you who are new to this, what is the Amazon Kindle? These are a series of e-readers that are designed and marketed by Amazon. These devices are used to browse the Amazon bookstore by download and read these books. So currently in the market there are three types of Amazon Kindles which are of the 10th generation. The Kindle Basic, the Kindle Paperwhite and the Kindle Oasis. I have the older generation of Amazon Kindle which is I think the 8th generation which I bought almost 3 to 4 years ago. Which is a digital piece which always accompanies me during travel. Let us take a closer look at it. This is the Amazon Kindle 8th generation. This is a 6 inch screen and works on the paper technology or e-ink technology as Amazon calls it. You have the Kindle logo at the bottom and an Amazon logo at the back. The build quality is very good and it is made up of plastic but even though if it falls it will not break into two. At the bottom you have a USB port for charging and an indicator to know if it is charging and a button to switch on and off the screen. There are two color variants that are available the black and the white. It is not like a tablet and it will not strain your eyes. It is extremely thin and lightweight and very easy to hold in one hand. It is approximately 160 grams and it can hold thousands of books because it has an inbuilt storage of 4 GB. But then you also have free cloud storage given to you by Amazon. It takes almost 4 hours to be fully charged and the battery can last you up to almost 2 weeks. So this version of the Amazon Kindle has a Wi-Fi connectivity but does not have a slot for the SIM for 3G or 4G connectivity. The Kindle comes with 1 year warranty but I do not think you will have any issues with this product. So let us switch on the Kindle and take a look. Okay. So we are right now at the home screen and you can see on your top left that it will show you the connected Amazon account and on the right it is very similar to your mobile having the Wi-Fi indicator, your battery level and the time. Below that you have all the menu and then your library, all the books that you have downloaded from Amazon or any documents if you have emailed them to your Kindle. Here you will get the recommendations from Amazon based on your reading list. You can also link your Goodreads account so you will have a Goodreads option and you can even review books directly from here. The Kindle's electronic ink screen looks more like paper than an LCD screen of a tablet. It reflects light in the same way that a paper would do. 
as this is a Kindle Basic, it lacks the built-in light which is available with the higher versions of the Kindle that is the Paperwhite and the Oasis. This paper ink technology helps you retain more battery as the Kindle pulls the power from the battery only during the initial page generation. For example, let us say I click on this book, The Gun Island by Amitav Ghosh. So the battery is pulled only when it refreshes the page. So when, let us now go back to the menu bar and you can see that whenever you want to go back to your uh, home page, you have this button here for home and you have settings. Your Goodreads account is linked here and this is the Amazon Kindle store. So if you want to buy any books or you want to try out any sample, you can directly click on this link and choose from variety of books. You also have the menu here, lot of other menus. You have your library, your reading list, Kindle store, which is already there here. Then you have your Goodreads account, vocabulary builder, experimental browser, which I do not think many people use. Uh, you better have a laptop, mobile or a tablet for that. So this is not made for as a browser. So you can skip that and then you have settings and a collection. So let us go one by one. Let us say I have, I go to the Kindle store. Okay. So you need to be connected to your Wi-Fi. All right. And let's say you like, uh, you go to all eBooks and check out some books. Uh, let's say I want to read something on biographies. So now I'm connected to my Amazon. So you directly see the books and the pages, uh, the cover page from Amazon. And let's say, I want to read about Che Guevara. So, you know, you can read it for free because it is currently I am under Kindle Unlimited. But if you want to buy it, you can try or you can try a sample as well. So already I have uh, Amitav Ghosh's Gun Island as a sample and let us just open it. Okay. So it looks like this. It looks like paper. It doesn't strain your eyes at all. Okay. Because this is a basic version of the Kindle, I don't have an inbuilt light. but but I think that is not required. I, I definitely would not prefer that because I like to read books in sunlight so and in daylight. Okay. Let us say you're reading a book and you come across a word that you do not know and you need to use the dictionary. So the best quality of this Amazon Kindle is that it has an inbuilt dictionary that you can use. For example, let us say I do not know the meaning of survived. Okay. So let's say I click on this a long press on the button and you get the meaning from the inbuilt dictionary. So this is pretty handy and it is good for first time users. And if you're reading a book which has very difficult words, okay, so that really helps you during those times. For turning the pages, you just, you can swipe or you can click on the edges, left and right edges. So I've already completed this book reading the sample. So let me try some other book. Uh, yeah, The Journey Home. I have read excellent reviews about this book. Let me know in the comment section if I should read this through. I haven't read it as of now. So let's say this is the first chapter. So you can come to know how many minutes is left to finish this book. Now it's showing 27 minutes. That is pretty less. That is because this is a sample book. So it may have only 10 to 15 pages. You can also click again here to know how much time is left to complete the chapter. Now, because this is a sample, you will not know it. Okay. So another great function of the Amazon Kindle is the X-ray option that you get in the menu. So let us say uh, you're reading, you stopped or paused this book and you're reading it after 15 to 20 days and you come back to it and you do not know about a certain character. Let's say you do not know about Danny. Okay. So what you need to do is you have an X-ray option where you can go to the X-ray and it will show you some experts from this book and some clips so that you can easily go back and read about what statements each character made and it will pretty much get you back uh, to pace to complete this book. This is pretty much it about the Kindle. Extremely handy when you're traveling. All right, you can just screen off and you can also use a cover that you get from Amazon to close it and it will look like a book, but it adds a little bit of weight, a little bit of weight, but it depends. So if you're traveling a lot, then you can use it. If not, you can put it in your library on your showcase. So what do I suggest? Let's look at it one by one. 
from the positives of the Kindle. A Kindle can hold thousands of books at one time and it weighs very less and is much smaller and very easy to hold in your hand. Uh, it's a must have if you are an avid reader and also travel often with a paperback because that would be taking up a lot of precious space in your hand and carry on luggage. Accessibility. Within minutes, you can download the book that you want. Let us say you are reading a book and you are not happy with it. You can delete it and buy a new one immediately. The font size. It's extremely handy that the fonts of a Kindle can be adjusted and enlarged. And not to mention, it doesn't strain your eyes because of the e-ink technology I told you about. The Kindle is less intimidating. Big books. Uh, in paperback version are sometimes intimidating as you get distracted looking at how much is still left to read and here you can have an option where you can see how much time is left to read the book which helps you quicken your pace environment they have a better impact on the environment than the chopping of trees yes it needs to be charged but the battery life is very good which means you have to charge it maybe once in two weeks now let us look at the pros of the paperback a book is a very personal item to its readers all books have a memory attached to it or which means something to them you can never disregard the beautiful smell that a book has and it is almost nostalgic while i do think that a kindle is a must buy i prefer you read the books which you are unsure on the kindle and the more the classics you buy them if the book is certain and you're very happy after reading it on a kindle then you can go on the amazon store and buy a paperback a physical book in the hands feels more welcoming than a e-reader i hope you liked this video then hit the like button and share it with your friends